What's up everybody, it's Matt from TDM Style here and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the bar for another episode of Seasonal Favorites and it's early September so we are teetering on autumn and hence autumn hair is back bitch which I mean it's kind of hard to see in this dimmer lighting but if I get closer to the light yes yeah so here we are we're gonna talk about the products across hair and skin and body and everything that I've been loving for these past summer months by the way if you're wondering why my voice is in the basement had a couple drinks last night and that's usually what happens in the morning I just sound like Barry White so that just means need some more coffee Ugh. Speaking of coffee, grab yourself a nice tasty beverage, kick back, relax, and let's have a chat about all these products that I've got here. Alright, so as per usual, we're going to start in the shower arena, and the first ones that I want to mention are the shampoo, conditioner, and the body wash as well from the Goodfellow Target lineup. This was my first episode of the Budget Stuff series. I was gonna say segment and then I changed it to series in my brain and it just kind of came out as series. Yeah, so, and I have been continually like so impressed with these. I mean, for like a six, seven dollar price point is the body wash especially has been great. Um, they smell awesome. They, they work really well, surprisingly. And uh, yeah, definitely worth the cheap price. Moving on to the slightly more expensive shower arena. This is the shampoo and conditioner from Sole Toscana. This is an Italian brand which I haven't covered yet but I do have an upcoming review for these. Um, these have just been great as well. The shampoo is like really invigorating and just kind of wakes you up in the shower and the conditioner just works very very well. Great stuff and yeah more on that coming up in a uh, solo review video quite soon. All right, next up we have something that I haven't really featured before and that is a deodorant that I've been using. <laughs> oh God. And this one here is the Oak Moss Antiperspirant Spray from Morris Motley. And I have been so impressed with this. I normally like antiperspirants just don't work well for me. Um, but I decided to give this a try because I, absolutely fucking love the scent of their oak moss fragrance it's just uh, and uh so when i saw this and this was not like a thousand dollars i said well that's very reasonable you get two of these i ordered them from fleek fellows if you want to check it out i do have a discount code for fleek fellows down in the description box for you you get two of these in a pack i think it was 45 bucks so it's pricey for deodorant i mean let's be real um but this is still my first can and i've been using it for literally like the past three months and i still have probably that much left in there there's still there's still quite a bit in there and yeah as you can imagine it smells amazing it smells just like the fragrance and it just it lasts it keeps me you know not smelly for all day and um yeah, it's just been really, really great. And the other thing, you know, some deodorants and some antiperspirants can be really irritating for me and like give me itchy rashes and shit. And thankfully this was not one of those. It's totally like gentle on the skin, which was very much appreciated. Speaking of skin, now we're moving into the skincare department and I have been absolutely loving the trio set from Even Prime. If you haven't seen it, I did a full a skincare video on these so I'll put that up in the card over here and uh, these I do have a discount code and a link for you down below as well if you'd like to try these out and they've just been absolutely fantastic it's a cleanser a toner spray and a moisturizer and they just they work great the price is great um, yeah Korean skincare man it's no joke and it's definitely like I've been liking these arguably more so than my typical Kiehl's stuff which is saying a lot, because I'm a big Kiehl's boy. All right, now moving back into hair care and talking about pre-stylers first. These three have been, I've been using these just nonstop. And so the first one is the Glitterati Serum from Ex Mondo Hair. Um, this is just a really great smoothing serum. I mean, it smells awesome. It works great. It gives your hair a really, really nice shine. And it has just a touch of grip, so it aids in like the control of when you're styling, and it adds a little bit of hold, which is really nice. In a similar vein, I've been using a lot of the Stickmore Boost Tonic. This stuff is just fucking awesome. It's, you know, this adds a, a considerable amount of hold for a tonic, and it just makes the hair feel really soft, a nice, you know, natural, lightweight bounce, silky, nice shine to it. Again, adds some grip, so it's nice control with the brush when you're styling. And then we have 
the Fleek Spray from the Salon Guy. This is his uh, kind of hair repair smooth and shine spray that you don't want to use it all the time, but this is something that, you know, lately I've been testing a lot of different products and as happens with a lot of, uh, when you test a lot of hair products, you sometimes run into some that dry the fuck out of your hair and make it just feel like straw. And so on those days when I wash that shit out and my hair is still feeling like it's just lifeless, this has been a savior. I mean, basically, it just brings my hair back to life. It gives it its shine back. It feels super just silky and smooth and more S's. Uh, it smells amazing, as with, like, all of Steven's products. Yeah, and it's just, it's just fucking killer. And last but certainly not least, we've got a few of my more often used styling products over the summer. I mean, as you can imagine, with testing products all the time, I just, I'm always using different products. Uh, but these have been some that on like off days or if I'm going out and I need to know how my hair is going to behave, I reach for one of these. And first up, we have the all-purpose pomade from First Hand Supply. This stuff was one of those products that just really, really surprised me. And um, yeah, I normally don't you know, care much for pomades. They're normally too shiny and too separated for me, but this one is just not that. It's like low shine. It's got a really nice firm hold that will go nowhere, but it doesn't make your hair feel, you know, stiff or gross or anything. It's really nice, keeps the hair feeling nice and hydrated, and uh, yeah, it just works great. Now, next up in the more medium flowy hold department, we have the Hustle Grooming Clay from the Salon Guy. This stuff is just great. Um, yeah, it's just super smooth. It has a nice true medium hold. The smell on this is just uh, fucking amazing. And uh, yeah, it just works great. Nice matte finish, clay texture, just lasts all day. It doesn't get greasy. It's just, yeah, it's a great clay. And speaking of great clays, we have Oasis Clay from Templeton Tonics. This is the Reform, which is the super creamy one. I've got, you know, a full review up for this as well. I've got full reviews for all of these stylers up. Um, which I can link below if I remember to do that. But yeah, Oasis Clay, this thing just blew me away. It, it's just a, it's perfection. It's just a great clay. It's got a super strong hold, super lightweight, never gets greasy, even on day two. Excellent texture, pliability, like it's just, it's got it all. And you've got your choice of five different like fucking killer scents on it. So yeah, uh, all three of those highly, highly recommended. Definitely worth checking them out. Oh boy, all right, that was a mouthful, but we got through it, I feel like, fairly quickly for one of these videos. So, um, yeah, these have been some of my favorites over the past few months, and, um, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to the next batch of products that I get to feature in the fall favorites, and slightly spoiler alert, I'm going to be featuring a little bit of, uh, like, kind of fashion clothing items in that one as well, alongside this type of stuff, so look out for that. As usual, I have a shitload of content coming up. Um, I just have a lot of videos to get through, some really, really exciting stuff too. So if you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button down below to keep up to date with everything. And as always, thank you guys so much for coming by and watching. And we'll see you at the next one.